In this video we're going to look at normalizing data. What normalizing means, what we currently have for our data. Database normalization. What is normalization? Here is a definition of normalization. Basically what normalization is, is making your database as small and efficient as possible. Eliminating repeating data, but also making it as easy to go through and get the information out as possible. Having it in a good order, eliminating the redundant data, and making sure that it just sort of makes sense in the big picture of that. Normalization, once again, is the process of efficiently organizing the data in the database. How do we do that? There's actually four levels of normalization that you can do. The first normal form, that's the first level of normalization, is to eliminate duplicative columns from the same table. We don't want multiple columns that have the same information. On our ice cream database, if we would have the name in one column and then we have another column that has the name again, we want to eliminate that. For the most part, we haven't done that. The second normal form, the second level of normalization, it removes subsets of data that apply to multiple roles. And I'll show you what that is here in a second. Currently our database has subsets of data that we could remove. We're not in the second normal there. And also when you do that then we create some relationships and I'll show you in the next video how we're going to do that. The third level is to remove columns that aren't dependent upon it. A lot of times we put in extra data in our database, in our tables, and that data is not necessarily dependent upon the key, the first database ID number of that. It could be stored somewhere else. And the fourth level is no multi-value dependencies, and that is for people who are database administrators. They spent four years in college learning how to set up databases and optimizing them. We won't get to that point, but we'll get through the third normal form. Here's our Lab9 website. We've uploaded the files. We've created the ice cream demo database. What I'm going to do is click on the R for our CRUD, the retrieve records, and it's going to list out all the records we have in our database. As you can see, we got about 18 records in there. The first column is the ID number. Second column is the ice cream name. Third is the base flavor. And the fourth is the different add-ins that are there. The first column with the database ID number, each one of those ID numbers are going to be unique in the database, so you can't repeat that. The second column, ice cream name, most likely won't have the same name anywhere in that column, but we can't guarantee it. We can't use that as an ID. Base flavor, that can repeat. We have mint chocolate chip. We have grasshopper that, that all have mint. Then we have a lot of other ice creams that have chocolate like Rocky Road, French Silk, Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup, Brownie Cascade, Haley's Comet, Chocolate. All those have the chocolate ice cream as a base. Now remember that second normal form to remove the subsets of data? If we look at the base flavors we can see that mint is listed three times. Chocolate's listed about a half a dozen times. What we can do is we can create a subset of that information. We can create a additional table and in that table we'll have an ID number, a base ID number, and we'll have a, the base name, what it is. Mint, chocolate, cherry. We can go back into this database and instead of putting mint in there we'll put whatever ID numbers associated with mint and we can replace all those names with numbers. That way if we ever have to change mint from M-I-N-T to a fancy spelling like M-I-N-T with an E with an apostrophe or whatever it is, we just change it in one place and it'll cascade all the way through our databases. And we can do the same thing for the add-in column. As you can see, we've got chocolate chips in there several times. We have Bing cherries in there several times. We have caramel and brownies all those different things are in there and they're repeating. What we can do is create a, a third table, a separate table to do that. But right now our database is not normalized. 
What we'll do in the next video is show you what our database looks like normalized. Thank you for watching.